don't know you chat though. I don't know you chat. Come on now. Calm down with all that bright ass light, bro. Right there. That, that'll work right there. In a polarized world, the next installment of the franchise, all about balance and non-attachment, will be worshipped, hated, and obsessed over until it's not even fun to talk about anymore. Really this not. is not going to go the way you think. It didn't. Nah, we know Star Wars fans by now. <laughs> Star Wars, The Last, Last Jedi. Jedi. Forget the love letter to the originals that was The Force Awakens, yeah. because Episode 8 subverts everything you've come to expect, making it the worst one ever. <laughs> Aw, who invited the original Honest Trailer voice back? Uh -oh. Are we really gonna do the old ones are better slash new ones are better thing we did with The Force Awakens? The only way to talk about Star Wars now is in absolutes, so yes. Kinda sithy of you, but fine making Last Jedi a refreshing update to a predictable formula that spits in the face of everything you once loved. Whiner. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> Meet the new class of heroes coming into their own, like Rey, who after being called by Luke's lightsaber, is called by the Jedi text, called by a big wet hole, and called by her greatest frenemy. Yet still gets zero answers to any of her questions. I thought I'd find answers here. I was wrong. Poe, who grows from a hotshot sexy pilot to a treasonous failure with more blood on his hands than the Empire. First Order. Wow. Same difference. And Finn, who went from a deserter running away from the war to a deserter running away <laughs> from the war. With the help of newcomer Rose, he'll learn to put the greater good above himself. Thanks to a pointless side quest to Casino Royale. Yes. Because how dare they spend 15 minutes connecting the action to a larger theme. The larger theme being, is it possible to miss pod racing? I didn't think so. But here we are. No. But not. forget about the butthurt fanboys who are just mad the movie isn't closer to the one they wrote in their heads. Hey. Because they're still all the old favorites like Leia, a battle-hardened general trying to keep the spark of hope alive. And she's in a coma. <laughs> Chewbacca. <laughs> who gets nothing to do. And Luke Skywalker. Who after sad old Han and sad old Leia really drives home how your heroes are all sad and old now. He's turned his back on the franchise after watching the prequels. The legacy of the Jedi is failure. Wow. And not even reruns of A New Hope can change his mind. <laughs> <laughs> because what Star Wars fans really needed was to see their idol throw his lightsaber away like it was some kind of joke. And Star Wars is not a joke to me. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about Ryan Johnson ruined my childhood like he ruined the laws of space battle. There are no laws to space battle. There should be. Luke isn't the only Skywalker okay. who has issues with the franchise. Kylo Ren is back, and he's demanding a full reboot. Let the past die. <laughs> Kill it, if you have to. When he doesn't look like he's about to cry, which is always... <laughs> you gotta look like about to cry a lot. Watch as he ditches the Vader fanboy act, the Mighty Duck mask, and his shirt. Babe. Ooh, okay. hey, you distracted me on purpose. Too late, moving on. Get ready for truly unexpected answers to the puzzles of episode seven. That can only be answered by asking, what are the most disappointing answers to the puzzles of episode seven? Like who are Ray's parents? Nobody. Nobody. Who is Snow? Nobody. Some dead guy. And how did Maz Kanata get Luke's lightsaber? It doesn't matter and you're stupid for asking. That after all the hours of speculation and analysis was genuinely Insulting. exhilarating. Whoa, how do we keep from a certain point of viewing each other? Yeah, we're both pretty big Star Wars nerds, huh? So gear up for the most divisive Star Wars film ever made. Where Ryan Johnson either doesn't understand the lore, or he made the first Star Wars movie that lives up to the values it preaches, instead of endorsing royal bloodlines and reckless aggression. Okay, enough division. Let's say our favorite things about it on the count of three. One, two, three. Rain and Kylo, Kylo team, team up to fight, fight the Praetorian Guard. guard. But Hope Yoda hitting Luke with a stick. stick. Porgs! Wait, really? Yeah, I'll own it. Okay, now, least favorite. Hold, Hold on, not telling anyone her plan. plan. I get knocking Poe down a peg, but come on. They're taking shuttles okay, to make a fort. Why make this? everyone I, think they're gonna, gonna die? I can't argue with that, though I'm sure people will. Should we do this again for Solo? Nah. nah. I'm not gonna see that crap. Starring. Half the Star Wars fan base. Salt. Blu-ray. Luke Teatmilker. 
Carrie oh, Poppins. Uh. Finn, <laughs> the human. I've been kissed by a rose on the brain. Kai so serious. <laughs> Slope. Give me the carking keys, you carking nerf herder. Short round. Pew. Brienne of Dorth. Hucks to be you. <laughs> and redemption for Star Wars Kid. Star Wars, the last one you'll pay to see. Until the next one comes out. Maybe. It is time for my fandom to end. Did you hear JJ finish the script for episode 9? My fandom is back. <laughs> temporarily. <laughs> Want more Star Wars stuff? Click the box on the left as we dive deeper into oh, more man. serious questions oh, for The man. Last Jedi. Or click the box on the right to watch us make FN218 play with puppies. What the cuss? Broccoli, my mortal enemy. Uh, the inner machinations of my mind things. are I enigma. The first Jedi temple was in Staplehurst, Nebraska. Instead of, for this one, instead of like going in completely on the movie, they did bring in like the old uh, Arnold Schroeder's voice to, to talk about the movie, but yet they, they, you know why I watch honest trailers, they all just completely go in on it and this was like a different take. Uh, as far as The Last Jedi, uh, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I've seen all the movies. Uh, some of them are good. Some of them to me are, are complete trash. I feel like Phantom Menace is like the worst movie ever made. Period. Uh, there's one scene in that movie and that's uh, Dark Maul and uh, I mean, uh, was it Qui-Gon Jinn? Is that his name? I don't fucking know. Open him, open one. But yeah, that's, that's that. Other than that, that's the worst movie in, in existence. Uh, but last, as far as Last Jedi, I, I liked it. It was. I don't know Star Wars lore. I, I, I don't care. Some stuff was just corny in it. Some stuff I just didn't like. Period. Some stuff I liked. But the stuff I didn't like, I went back and rewatched it. I only saw it in theaters once because I was just like, I'm not going to see it again. Because I'm, I didn't need two viewings to see it, how I thought about a movie. Uh, so certain stuff I like, certain stuff I just didn't like. So me defending just okay. But I got another question. This is this is just this is a random question. What movie was more divisive? Star Wars: Last Jedi, Batman v Superman. Let me do. Let me know down in the comments. Shit, now nah, damn it. Choke me down. Let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know your thoughts on Last Jedi. This was a funny on Australia. And to me, more than funny, it was just like, yeah, you got a point. You got a point there. You got a point over here, too. Yeah, like, you just kept going back. Like, yeah, both of y'all got, both of y'all make good points. Which is pretty much what Star Wars fans both do. But that is a cesspool that I'm not involved in, and I'm happy I'm not. Because I get enough of the cesspool that is DC. I'm actually pretty much involved in that one in every way possible. <laughs> but like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? You guys know. Shit. It's the same thing. Just do that shit.